Okay guys, so let's populate this section right here so that we show exactly what we want, okay? But first, let's put the name of the current user there, which is an easy peasy thing to do. So let's go back to our text editor and I will go to my views eShop admin. Let's go to the index page. So let's look for Newman. Newman, where are you, Newman? Is that the correct? Marcel Newman. So let me copy that. Oh, actually, this is inside the sidebar, if I am not mistaken. So let's go to the sidebar. Okay, where is the sidebar? Okay, inside admin. Sidebar. So where is Newman? Right there. Mm -hmm. So if you can remember, as long as somebody is in the admin section, it means they actually logged in. So we don't really need an if statement here. We can just echo because if they're here, they must be logged in. So obviously the information is contained in data. Oh. I think we used user underscore data as the link. And then now user data. And wait a minute. I've been dealing with too many databases now. I don't remember. So it's just name. And we might as well put the email address there just in case. So name. Let's close that off. And let's give it a, a run. Oh. What am I looking for here? Name. Yes, that's name. So undefined property name. Hmm. But why? Okay, so what we will do here, let's just, um, for the sake of it all, let me echo. Actually, I can't echo this. Let me just uh, remove that. Let's do it the proper PHP way. I want to see what's inside here. Okay, so what am I missing? Oh, there's only rank. These are the small things that we forget. So my bad. So let's go back to um, core. Uh, no, actually models, user class where we are checking for the rank check login right here so the problem is I forgot that I actually need to return the entire row and I just got the rank so sorry about that put just put the star there and we should be golden at this point so let me undo 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 okay so this should work now since we have everything we need. Okay, looky there. So if you had a first name and last name, you would put them there. And I think we could also put a, um, let me just duplicate this. Let's try H, I don't know, is there H6 or? Let me just change this to a span like so. And use a data email. Let's see what that does. Okay, so we have an email address there. Uh, pretty cool. But I think I should read. Oh, I should return it to the H5 so that I get the the look to be exactly the same. But then it's only what I can do is just add a, an extra style here and reduce the font size. So. E. What am I doing? Font size. So let's try uh, 14 pixels. Like so. Since it's a block, that one was uh, the reason it's going to this side is because it uh, displays inline. But uh, an H5 has an inline, uh, a display of blocks. So it will move to the center like that. But that's still too small. 
Well, okay. So I guess the font size isn't working here because it's an H5. Well, it is working, apparently. Look at that. Now let's uh, add these elements here. Okay, so starting with the dashboard here. Uh, I've actually compiled a list of items we can we can add here. So the first one will be dashboard and then there will be products. This is the font awesome icon that we're going to use since this is already using font awesome. So we can take advantage of that. So we'll have a section for products where you create the products and then categories of products where you add a category. And then we'll have orders. When somebody makes an order, we see those orders here. And then we'll have settings where we'll change our home page images because there are those images in the slider that are moving. So we must be able to change those. So that will be part of settings. So these ones down here are sub uh, menu list items. And then we have uh, a list of customers so that we know if there are any new customers and so on. And then a list of admins so that we can remove or add new admins and so on. And then finally, we'll have website backup so I'm going to show you how to back up your database and your images as well if you want for the products. So you learn how to create a zip file as well in the process of doing this backup. Okay, so let me translate this into that real quick. So one thing though, if uh, I go to my uh, original HTML file, there's already dashboard there. So what I can do is simply copy that. Let me come back to my uh, text editor here. So we have the original index HTML here. Actually, this can be on any page really, because all of these have the menu items inside the admin here. So let me see which one I can use. Let me just check for dashboard, dashboard. Where is that dashboard? Love your new dashboard. Wow, this is used so often. Okay, so there we go. So this is what I want in there. So the font awesome and the text. So you can you can just type that in if you want to. So I will go to the sidebar here, and this is the element that I am. Since I'm not going to be using this desktop, uh, I'll simply just replace it. Okay, there we go. So now that that's replaced, let's see what sub items. There are no sub items for this one. So I will save and then duplicate the item here. Duplicate. So now I can delete the sub items here because dashboard shouldn't have those items. So let's go back here and refresh. And so we have dashboard and then we have this one with the other stuff. So let's put these on the rest of this. So the next one is products and then categories and so on. So let's do that. So right there, products. Uh -huh. And let me see if this actually will work. The font awesome here. Okay, so it is actually working. One second here. Okay, so products there, dashboard. Now inside products, we want to add the add button here. So add new, add new, or, or we can just say new product, add new product just to be more uh, specific. And then we're going to have one with edit product. And then I think that's about it. Add edit, boom. Add edit and we may have delete because that's what it is. So we can add, we can edit and we can delete. I think that's, that sorts everything else out. So these links, of course, will have to link to specific pages. So here I will put my um, root 
because root is required like that for every link and then i will say admin because this is inside the admin controller right but then the only thing that will change is the method that we are using in here so that will be admin add uh, underscore just to be uh, very specific or instead of this let's uh, because this is the product section so let's say product okay so we can name it product or um, I think product is fine. So admin product, and then again, we add add there like that. So this is very specific now. So we have the controller admin, and then we'll have a method called product. And inside there, we're going to decide what to do, which is add. Okay, so this is the linking format we're going to be using. So I will copy that and paste it here and paste the other one here and change the words accordingly. So one is delete, the other is edit. Okay, good. So, so far so good. Let me see what we have. Actually, this one also, href, uh, this one goes to the JavaScript, but we need to add a link to this one as well. So this one will be admin product. I think uh, probably adding an S will make sense in the methods. Products add, products edit, products delete. Hmm, okay. Now, of course, we will need to add an extra variable here for whatever we're going to be using, probably the product ID or something like that, right? But that's uh, for another time. Here, this is enough. So admin products, that's good. So let me refresh here to make sure we haven't broken anything. So if I do click here, it will take me to the admin. Yeah, so there we go. Add new product, edit product, delete product. Very nice. So now we can repeat this, this kind of thing. Uh, let's go down here and we'll say categories. So that's the next one, categories. So let me get the the font awesome here. Category. Like that, categories. Add new. So I'm just going to replace product with... Um, category like that so here it's obviously different it's supposed to be categories categories small letter c small letter c okay so delete category add category and that should do it so refresh and there we go categories and add new delete category Okay, so you get the picture. And then let's come back one more. What's that one? Orders. So orders doesn't really have, because we are not going to be adding or editing orders. So this is a simple, straightforward thing. So let me come back here and let's do this again. Duplicate. So from, oh, right there, I forgot this link as well. Actually, there's a second one there. Categories. Okay, uh, it should change to that. And then here we have um, orders. So orders does not have this. So in order to preserve these guys, I will make one more duplicate and then delete these ones here. So orders. Uh, is that the correct? No, this is the one we should get the reorder. So put that one there. Orders. Mm -hmm. Okay, so come back here. And there we go. So we have orders now. 
and what is next on the list we have settings mm -hmm. so settings has home images as a sub so are there any more subs down here guess not so we can comfortably delete this and so what's that settings oh actually there's one in here so my bad so let me remove these and then this one is um, we can just say slider images the, uh, the names are up to you admin this one is admin settings right that's where it goes and i will say settings like that but this one goes to settings and then in there we'll go to we can name it slider or underscore images that's up to you or even just slider will be fine okay so that actually works so what is the i think this the font of some here should be cogs i don't know if that's going to work let's try that oh there we go okay so settings orders this one has slider images orders is an actual page and so on okay so let's finish up with the backup oh so there's customers admins and so maybe what we might just say here is users so that we can select whether it's uh, customers or admins uh, okay so we've made a mistake here meaning ah, not really i can still copy this so let's do this and let's try admin users and then here i think the one is user and then i will do users there and then here i will say customers or admins like so okay so at this point users that's the link and same thing here so admins users and then here we'll say customers and here admins okay i think uh, we are good to go here let's uh, confirm if things are good okay so users customers admins goody so one more thing remaining and that is the website backup so that's the one right there let me just copy the font awesome here and make a duplicate duplicate again so sub menu admins and then backup so that's what we will call that one backup so replace users with a backup We just need one actually oh well, actually we don't need any of this so it's just here we could say website backup okay and let's change our font awesome to something awesome okay so let's see that in action and there we go so website backup user settings orders and so our admin section is looking pretty good and when we click on these items we are not leaving the admin page why because our link contains at least the admin word there which means it's going through the admin class so awesomeness now what we're going to do is create a controller or not a controller but a method for all of these one at a time until we populate our admin area perfectly. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.